Hundreds of local seniors have teamed up over the past two decades to help children they'll never meet. It's all about helping them smile during some difficult times. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto takes us to the Cranston Senior Center in tonight's street story. No eyes, no nose, no mouth on the doll. The face, the expression, the emotion is up to the children the doll is designed to help. They are a doll making machine. Ha, good job. Even if they're hard working hands, have a crick or two. Everybody here has arthritis, yeah. raise their hand. Yeah. Oh yes. Coventry's Barbara Briard started crafting for the Smile Doll program 23 years ago when she was the kid in this group at the age of 68. My husband had passed away and I was home alone, so I thought I should do some volunteer work. They draw the outline <laughs> and then cut it out. Just hope that they all like the outfit that we have on them. All right, this is ready for sewing. Another cog stitches it together and hands it off to someone who stuffs the doll with softness. Okay, this is good. The face left blank with purpose. Because the children we give them to, it will express what they want on that face and maybe make their own color eyes here, which would mean more to them than us doing that. The dolls go to nursing homes and daycare facilities, but many will help children facing the worst days of their young lives. Over the years, firefighters have given smile dolls to children burned out of their homes. Police put them in the young hands of kids caught in the middle of domestic violence or worse. This bundle of kindness picked up by Devereaux Therapeutic Foster Care out of Warwick. 40 dolls for children who could use a hug and maybe create their own smile on the blank canvas. We had one director come. She had a childhood <clears throat> being an orphan. Ann Tansy, who keeps these volunteers humming along, recalls many stories about who the dolls have helped, including that orphan. When she was adopted, she would run under the table to eat. So her dad would do the same thing for weeks until she got used to coming out. When she gave these dolls to the children, it put a smile on their face. The demand is not slowing down, so neither are the volunteers. In fact, in the next week or so, there'll be 200 going out. They better get to work. I told them, let's get busy here. <laughs> they make about 15 dolls a day, and over the years, they've made thousands and sent them across the area to help children. On Cranston Street in Cranston, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.